A new mural was unveiled in Ottawa's center town today. It's a collaboration between a local artist and students from Cambridge Street Community Public School. The CBC's Sandra Emma went to check it out. On a storefront on Gladstone Street, a new work of bright colors and natural beauty is on display. The young artists who made it are dropping by to see the fruits of their labor. And you work on the flowers, so all of you work on the flowers, right? Yeah. This mural combines the talents of kids from Cambridge Street Community Public School who work together under the guidance of local artist Claudia Salguero. Salguero designed the murals and the students painted on the panels while at school, bringing to life huge butterflies and sunflowers and a vibrant harvest of fruits and vegetables. The way it happens, I just tell them what to do, just have fun. It's, it's, it's on me, I'll take responsibility, you just can't paint, I can help you, I can teach you, but relax and enjoy. Salguero specializes in creating big, high-impact art projects that bring people together to celebrate their neighborhoods. By her count, she has created 76 giant murals that can be seen on the sides of buildings or inside schools throughout the city. The artist says she's seen group work like this enrich people and their communities. But it impacts the individuals working on it, the group working on the mural, but also the community and the passersby because they feel that now their neighborhood is transformed, like it's, it's, it, it looks different, it looks vibrant, it brings hope. This latest mural was commissioned by The Red Apron, a grocery store specializing in locally grown foods that has been in the area for more than 15 years. But I feel really proud because Centertown is a wonderful community and it's vibrant and it's full of life. And we think that this mural says all of that. It's a pride that's shared by these young artists. I think it's really cool that I can say, hey dad, or like, hey mom, I, pa I painted a part of that. Sandra Atma, CBC News, Ottawa.